Hey guys, I'm Ted, here to give you another fast fact, and for today's fast fact, we are going to look at the civil rights cases of 1883. Now, the civil rights cases of 1883 were a series of five cases, five in total, um, that came before the Supreme Court in 1883 and were decided jointly by the Supreme Court in 1883. Uh, these cases arose in the states of New York, Tennessee, Kansas, Missouri, and California, and they centered on the exclusion of African Americans from public facilities or public places, restaurants, inns, theaters, railroads, and so forth. Um, and, and, they, and the cases really sort of highlight the spread of Jim Crow or American racial segregation. Has these, uh, the majority of the cases occurred in places where slavery um, had, had not existed um, after the, uh, the 1820s, 1830s, uh, places, uh, and, and a few places where slavery had never existed at all, namely, uh, at least slavery under the United States, uh, namely California and Kansas, and also New York, um, they were all, um, non-slave states at the time of the Civil War, um, but they also were places where Jim Crow racism was permeating, uh, and the, the cases themselves, uh, they were decided by the court in an 8 to 1 decision uh, against uh, the African American um, plaintiffs, uh, if you want to view it like that, um, the other uh, defendants who had uh, all been indicted under the, uh, or all been charged and cited uh, for violating the 14th Amendment and the uh, Civil Rights Act of 1875, they were all, um, uh, they, they were all sort of, um, they, they had won their appeal and they were sort of vindicated in their stances and one of the major results of this case um, uh, of the decision of the case the overwhelming majority decision by the Supreme Court was that nearly all of the provisions of the Civil Rights Act of 1875 was sort of uh, found unconstitutional um, the Justice, Justice Joseph Bradley who wrote the majority uh, opinion? He cited uh, just about every provision of the 18 of the uh, Civil Rights Act of 1875 as being unconstitutional and going far and beyond the scope of Congress. Uh, and there you guys have it. That is our quick little fast fact. Uh, it was a very important case. Um, it, it really uh, enabled, um, set set the tone, and enabled the legality of Jim Crow segregation. Um, from from the 1880s straight all the way down to the 1960s um, a very important moment in American legal history um, a bad moment to be certain but a, a very important moment and one that deserves continued uh, scholarship and interest uh, as always hit like subscribe and comment let me know what you thought about this and as always I'm Ted and I'll see you guys next time for another fast fact